This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.9. The existing configuration variable, D2L, Tools, Activity Feed, Show Widget, is now set to On. You are able to turn the configuration off. Assignment Grader now supports On Paper and Observed in Person submission types. This feature implements PI items D2694 and D4909. A new Learning Outcomes tab has been added to Assignments. Your instructors can browse predefined outcomes that have been previously imported into Lessons. To use outcomes without using the Lessons Experience, you can import outcomes while Lessons is enabled and then switch to Content once the import is complete. This feature requires the D2L, Tools, Content, Is Lessons Enabled, D2L, Tools, Content, Use Lessons Experience, and the D2L, Tools, Learning Outcomes, Tool Integration Enabled to be set to On. The Manage Outcomes permissions must be set at the organization and course offering level for administrators. When creating or editing an assignment, instructors can now select Learning Outcomes. To add predefined outcomes to an assignment, click Add Outcomes and click the checkbox for learning outcomes you want to add. Then, click Add. The learning outcome displays. To remove an existing outcome, Click Remove Alignment. Instructors are now able to assess assignment submissions directly against outcomes aligned to an assignment. This feature requires the D2L Tools Content Is Lessons Enabled? D2L Tools Content Use Lessons Experience and D2L Tools Learning Outcomes Tool Integration Enabled Configuration Variables to be on. The Manage Outcomes Learning Outcomes permission is required for administrators at both the organization and course offering levels, and for instructors at the course offering level. Now, Learning Outcomes can be assessed in the Evaluation panel of the Evaluate Submissions page. Select the appropriate level of achievement from the skill provided. To make this feedback available to learners, click Publish. The Assignments List view now displays updated information. The new D2L Tools Dropbox Use Assignment List Opt-in Configuration Variable is defaulted to On Opt-in. This feature implements PI Item D1422. To opt into the new assignment list experience, click Turn It On. The new list view displays assignment name, the number of learners who have completed the assignment, the number of learners who have been evaluated, the number of learners who have had feedback published, and the due date. This allows instructors to quickly determine what assignments they need to evaluate, how far along they are with their evaluations, and if they have published the evaluations. Learners also experience an updated view of the assignments list. The D2L System Brightspace Daylight Widget Style configuration variable is no longer available. Teachers can now directly email parents from class list using the Learner's Context menu. The email parents permission must be set for instructors at the organization and course offering levels. From Class List, click the Learner's Context menu and select Email Parents. The Course Conversion service used to import course packages now uses the new AWS Course Conversion service and is enabled by default for all clients. New columns have been added to a number of datasets. For more information, review the release notes. 
The CAN Access Brightspace Datasets permission must be set at the organizational level for administrators. There are two new datasets available. The Role Details Dataset provides the full set of attributes of each role in your organization. The Enrollments and Withdrawals Dataset provides all enrollment actions from all time across your organization. For more information on the new datasets, review the release notes. The new on paper and observed in person submission types available in assignments can now be created from groups. From groups, click the context menu of the category you want to edit and select Edit Category. Navigate to Additional Options. Click the Submission Type drop-down, On-Paper Submission and Observed In-Person Submission Types are now available. A specific error message now appears to users who click a quick link to an activity that is outside the availability dates. For more information about supported tools, review the release notes. This feature implements PI item D784. Intelligent Agent Run History can now be exported to a CSV file. From Intelligent Agents, click More Actions and select Export Agent History. Specify which agents will be included in the export by clicking the Select an Agent drop-down and select a specific agent or all agents. For this example, leave all selected. Select Include Practice Runs to practice run data in the export. Enter a date range for the export. Then, click Export. To download the CSV file, click it. Open the file to review the export. The Manager Dashboard and Learning Group's user interface now supports the German language. Users can select their preferred language in the Locale and Language area of the Account Settings page. Rubrics has been updated to a single-page workflow. From Rubrics, click the context menu of a rubric you want to edit and select Edit. The new rubric experience displays on a single page.